Palin's trip to Haiti will certainly be seen as an effort to boost her foreign credentials. But Palin isn't the only political player testing the waters ahead of a potential presidential run. And we're back now with our panel of political insiders, Republican strategist Phil Musser, Tad Devine for the Democrats. Uh, let's start with presidential politics. And Phil, we should point out again that you are a top advisor to Tim Pawlenty, Minnesota governor, very possible presidential candidate. So let's start with the other possible <laughs> Republican right. candidate, Sarah Palin, in Haiti this weekend. Talk about a, a trip to Europe uh, sometime next year. Does she just take all the air out of the room, out of the conversation until she decides whether she's running? Oh, she's a huge, I mean, she's a huge factor. And, and Sarah Palin has been, I think, uh, relatively smart about how she's been using her time over the last couple of months. I mean, there seems there's a duality of approaches of late. On one level, uh, she's got reality uh, TV in terms of her own show. She's obviously contributing here. But she's also been doing some things to, you know, uh, burnish her credentials with some of the uh, intellectual community that, frankly, she sometimes kind of pushes back. And, you know, that's op-eds in the Wall Street Journal talking about the Ryan reform. She's obviously in Haiti uh, today. She's looking at other overseas trips trying to burnish her credentials in an area where she was widely kind of uh, ridiculed after 2008 as having weakness. So, you know, she is a, a major, major factor, and it's a, it's a, question, it's a great question. <laughs> let, let, let me ask you about Mitt Romney, who I think it's fair to say to the degree that there is is the unofficial front-runner in this GOP race. With congressional Republicans making such a big deal about Obama's health care reform and saying this is going to be the big fight over the next two years, how much of a burden is the fact that Romney established a somewhat similar health care reform plan in Massachusetts? I think individual mandate, and to the degree that's on the table with respect to the Supreme Court decision that's coming up about health care, the tone and tenor of House Republicans and how they, how they seek to repeal uh, uh, Obamacare in the first part of this uh, next administration makes this a central uh, messaging question for Governor Romney if he chooses to run. I agree with you. There's no question he's the front runner going to this race. Great depth with respect to infrastructure, network from his previous run. But, uh, you know, he'll have to address that straight out of the I, box. I, I got to interrupt you because I want to give you time to talk about your guy. Why don't you just say it? Flat out. Tim Pawlenty is going to run for president. Has <laughs> I hope he does. I hope Tim Pawlenty does. It's a, uh, you know, he's a, he's a remarkable leader with a tremendous ability to win independence and connect. He's got a, uh, a, a track record that's largely unknown, even in the Republican Party. And I think when, uh, uh, when folks start to understand better who he is and what he's done, he'll be an enormously attractive candidate should he choose to run. He's going through all those machinations now like a lot of them are. Uh, Tad, from the other side of the political aisle, how do you handicap the Republican field? Well, I think uh, Palenti would be a really tough candidate. I think he'd be strong. He's demonstrated he can win votes from independent voters. I think they're the key to presidential campaigns. Romney, I think, also has a lot of standing on economic issues. I think he'd be serious and formidable. How much trouble uh, the health care reform for him? Uh, really, not, not in the general uh, election, but in the Republican I think primary. It would, I think it would be an issue, but I don't think it's a stopper. I don't think it's going to prevent him from appealing to people, talking his way out of it. I don't think that one issue, because the, the, the economy is a much bigger issue right now, and, and Romney's got credentials. And Sarah economy. Palin? I think Sarah Palin uh, is someone who still has to uh, establish her credibility with, with, with voters. Uh, you know, and I think what she's doing right now is smart to do that, but I think she's got a long way to go before voters, independent voters, swing voters, see her as a credible candidate for and, president. And, and with the 30 seconds left, chances for a liberal challenge, a challenge from the left, of Barack Obama in the 2012 Democratic primary? I don't think there's a really strong chance that there'll be a liberal challenge. And here's why, Chris. Number one, the money is so, uh, you need so much money to run for president now. It's a lot different than it was, you know, 30, 20, 30 years ago. Second, Barack Obama still has strong support within the Democratic Party. You look at his numbers with Democrats, they're outstanding. And third, I don't see a figure like a Ted Kennedy, for example, who can rise up and take on an incumbent president. I don't think he'll be challenged within the Democratic Party, and that's a big asset for the president. But I mean, you know, people like Pat uh, Buchanan, I mean, it isn't always somebody sure. who, who is going to win. That's they right. just want to make a statement, you, 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 and they can you, make some trouble. Now Pat Buchanan would need $50 million to run a credible campaign. I don't think anybody would be able to raise that kind of money. I heard, I, heard, I, heard, I heard up in New Hampshire, one of the good guys who covers New Hampshire politics up there, James Pendell, reported this week, and that Feingold's calling a bunch of reporters up there. So we shall see. The ousted <laughs> uh, senator from Wisconsin. That's right, yes. they, they, they can only right. hope, okay? I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. All we right, we'll see. leave it there. Have you guys back. Thank you both. Thanks, Thanks Chris. Uh, Monday could be a turning point in the effort